Well, the CDC meets tomorrow. They could give the final approval for a fourth COVID-19 vaccine. Tonight, CBS 17 digital reporter Jody McCrary is digging deeper to find out if there are enough people waiting for the shots from Novavax to even be worth it. About a third of North Carolinians have not gotten a single COVID shot. Can Novavax even make a dent in that number? A doctor from UNC who ran a trial for it says it could. When you add up all those individuals across all the different cities and states and across the, the globe, you know, that's a sizable chunk of people who now have a, a, another alternative if they need it. Dr. Cynthia Gay ran the Novavax trial at UNC and has been hearing from holdouts for months. A lot of people were really excited about this vaccine. What they like is how it's different from the other vaccines. This one works kind of like a flu shot, using a harmless piece of the virus's spike protein. But can that help increase vaccination rates? 21% of people across the country and 33% in North Carolina have not even gotten one dose. You know, vaccination rates in the United States are not really where we want them to be. So if we have another option for a vaccine that might encourage or allow some of those unvaccinated folks to get vaccinated, that would be great. It's a bigger deal now because the BA5 Omicron variant has cases and hospital admissions on the rise. She says the Novavax shots could give some broad protection against it. And particularly after getting a booster dose of the Novavax, the antibody levels are really um, increased quite nicely uh, against the Omicron variants. If you do want Novavax, a big question, where can you get it? My Story Online has a search tool where you can find places near you that have it. For CBS 17 News, I'm Jody McCrary.